Hi guys, today we're going to make a painting. It's actually called a wax resist painting uh, of like in the style of Monet's water lily garden. So you're going to need a piece of paper and you'll need to turn it horizontally, otherwise known as the long way. You're going to need some paints. You're going to need either some colored pencils or some crayons for this project. So, first off, I'm going to take a green crayon and across the top of my page, I'm going to draw a zigzag line. Now, this is going to be the green stuff that's hanging down from the trees and the plants in my garden. Monet used to like to do pictures of his uh, pond. So we're going to draw a pond with water lilies in it. Now I'm going to take my green crayon and I'm going to draw a half circle going from this side of the page over to this side of the page, but I don't want to go so high as to touch my green stuff coming down. Okay. So then I'm going to go with brown and I'm going to make some trunks of the trees coming out of this green stuff. Okay, now I'm going to take my green again and I might mix it with some light green and I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to make some lily pads here in my pond by making some ovals. Now don't color in the water. I'm going to take some pinks and some yellows and some reds and on top of my lily pads I'm just going to make a fun little thing like this sticking out. It's kind of a zigzag line. This is going to be the flowers with the water lilies. So I'm going to do that, then I'm going to go back in and I'm going to color in the lily pads. Now remember, don't color in your water because that's going to be the fun part with the paint. Now I'm going to, I'm going to switch back to my tree trunks and color those in. Now I'm going to color in that green along the top, but I'm going to turn my paper. You don't have to turn your paper. I'm doing it because I've got this thing holding my iPad and it doesn't let me go up underneath it. So I'm coloring in the green. Okay, now I'm going to turn my paper once again. You can kind of see my trees and my green stuff hanging down from my trees. Now I'm going to take my light green and I'm going to kind of color in 
some bushes right along here. Now, you notice I'm kind of doing swirly and I'm not worried about whether or not my green shows white in between. I don't mind because that's going to fill in when I do my paint and it's going to make it look cool. Let's see. Put some more green down along my circle. I'm not making it be very thick. I'm going to mix in some darker green with that. It already kind of looks cool because it's blending with that light green. And I want to make there look like I want to make it look like there's some ripples in my pond. So I'm taking my white crayon and I'm just going to make some waves. And you're going to look at this and go, well, I can't see your waves, but you will see my waves after I paint. Okay, I'm going to make some circles to make it look like there's some stuff going on in the water. You could draw fish. You could draw uh, some frogs in the pond if you want. Now... I'm going to take my paint, which you may or may not be able to see. I'm going to start down here in the water so you can see what my white crayon did. And I'm going to get some more water in this blue paint. Oops, a lot. Okay, so now I'm going to paint. And if you look, now my swirly lines are starting to show up. That white's starting to show up. This is called a wax resist painting because the wax from the crayon is resisting what I am doing with the paint and it shows up. So there's my water. Now what I'm going to do, I actually have several greens here in my... Uh, paint so I'm gonna use several of these greens to do the grass area right here you can see this let's see is that still a green yep okay Kind of mix different greens. Now, I'm actually going to use a different blue for my sky. If you only have one blue, it's going to look just as good. But I'm going to go all the way up above these greens and in between these trees. And I'm going to paint a sky. Now, if it bothers you, you can go back and you can wipe this off with a paper towel, but I kind of like when it dries kind of spotty like that. I'm actually going to get my other green. I have one more green in my set here, and I'm going to go over the actual tree part because any part that you left white when you were coloring is going to color in with paint, and it looks really cool with the paint and the crayon blended together. So, there is my Monet painting. And like I said, if I want it to dry quicker or if it bothers me having the little puddles of water, I can get a paper towel and I can dry off some of those puddles. Or if I let them dry on the paper, it makes it look kind of cool too. So, it's up to you. Have fun!